So today the plan is uh, that we're going to unbox these two uh, items uh, that we have received from a company called uh, Nitec. And uh, right now we're just storing it. It's the first time. It's the next new uh, big thing on YouTube is uh, to play around with the uh, live. So this is uh, an attempt to do that. And um, with me behind the camera, I have my good friend Moreno. And uh, so I'm not here all alone. So we are going to try and unbox these items and see how they fit on uh, the Mavic Pro in a short while. So, and the first item that, uh, that we have here is like a remote controller monitor hood. And uh, you all know the problems when we are out in uh, the bright sunlight that it's difficult to see what's going on. So this might come in very handy. So it would be interesting to see how this works uh, when we uh, try to mount it. it. It does look unpacked, but actually it has not been unpacked. It's, it's the package that has been uh, banged up pretty bad uh, during transportation. So let's look at that in a while. The other item is uh, some uh, extra feeds for the Mavic and uh, they are supposed to be rubber so they will uh, offer some some sort of uh, suspension when you, uh, you land your, your aircraft so let's see how they mount so and uh, feel free to ask questions in the chat window uh, Moreno will keep an eye out for that if there's yes. something you, you want to, uh, to investigate so I'm ready here guys so just write and uh, we will try to answer. So we have more uh, stuff coming in from, from Litech. They seem like a pretty uh, nice company with a lot of uh, stuff. You, you might want to go and check the website out. It's, uh, I think we can leave a, a link in the comment section below. After this, uh, I don't know if that's possible. This is the first time we're doing live stream, so it's <laughs> we need to figure our way to do this. But uh, yeah. So let's see, uh, I can go in here and just take a short look at the Litech website and uh, it has a lot of, uh, maybe Moreno can type in the address for them in the chat window, you did that? Or? No, uh, we did it right now? Yeah, we do that. They have a lot of stuff, I can see they have a DJI Spark, they have that at 569 US dollars. That's Pretty nice. And they have some uh, action cameras. Uh, they have drones. Uh, they have pretty much everything that you can think of in terms of gadgets and accessories and drones. They have a pretty interesting section of uh, drones. If you go in and check those out, there's a lot more than just DJI products. All right. But this was not the reason why we uh, we uh, did this unboxing. It was not to surf through the Litec uh, website. So uh, maybe we should take a look at the, these uh, rubber feeds. So let me take them out of the bag. And one, if you could pan the camera. Yeah. So there's really not much to it. It's like the rubber parts. They feel pretty okay quality nothing there so if I take the Mavic and uh, I just unfold it let's see you put it like that I would assume these go on like this like that they do not provide a lot of uh, spacing to the ground as far as I can see but at least they offer some sort of a uh, suspension. So, something that needs to go in the click. Yeah, okay. This was a better fit like that. Turn it around the wrong way. Yeah. So it's pretty easy to mount. Let's see if it goes here. It's, it spaces the Mavic off the ground. What would you say about uh, one centimeter extra? One, two centimeter? Yeah, one, uh, one and a half, yeah, two centimeters maybe extra. Half an inch. <laughs> half an inch, yeah. yeah. I'd say something like that. So, I 
don't know if, uh, if those are needed, but it's a, it's a fairly cheap um, extra accessory, I think, if I look at the website. Uh, I have them here, it's like uh, $3, a little bit more than $3 uh, to get these uh, extension keys. So. If you fly um, in, in areas where you have a lot of grass and, uh, and there's something that can interfere with the drone when you, you have to take off and land and you don't feel comfortable about hand launching and, uh, and hand catching, then uh, it might be a good idea to, to put those on and they don't seem to add a lot of extra weight. So. But do they add some cushion? Are they soft? Or? Yeah, they're soft. They're like, as I said, rubber, soft rubber. So if you land, they maybe make it more Soft, soft landing. So, yes, let's put those away. So the next item is this uh, lens hood, and uh, it'll be interesting to see how that comes together. Because let's take it out. There's a manual here. That does not provide a lot of info. So I guess we are on our own when we try to put this together. So let's see. So the quality actually, hey, I noticed something here. It actually says DJI in the corner. So this might actually be an original part. For a written on the accessory for the man. It for says also in the box actually. Yeah, it does. Actually. On the side. So that's uh, that's pretty nice. I wasn't aware of that. I actually thought it was some sort of cheap Chinese uh, knockoff, but uh, it's actually uh, an original DJI part. And so. Oh, yeah, it's also a logo in the. In the and this is actually quite nice. The quality is nice. It's uh, it's a bit more sturdy than uh, I would have expected from uh, from the, uh, the from the picture on the outside of the box. And then I can set this up here, and then it goes with Velcro here, like that, and also the same here, like that. So the assembly was pretty easy. That was uh, really really easy. So I can take the, this and then it's supposed to go, I guess, on top of the antennas. I don't know how crazy I'm, uh, I am about that solution, but I do like that. Yeah. Actually, it's not, it's not bad. No, it doesn't look bad. It looks stable. It looks stable in some way, but attaching something to the antennas uh, is a bit... <laughs> well, pr probably it's a material that it doesn't interfere. I don't think it interferes. I don't think that's that's the problem. The, pr the problem is that if you're going to break these uh, antennas somehow, uh, I don't know. Okay, yeah, okay, but it flexes nicely, so it just goes this way. So let me just try and turn it on. I don't know how much shade it provides actually. Well, it depends, I guess, if you have the sun in front of you. Yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's, that's the typical that. problem. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe we should try and. Let me go in here and just fire up the Mavic. No, I don't want to do that. Right? I have taken off the propellers, so it's safe to do it indoor. I remember we did something a while back where somebody pointed out that we should take off the propellers when we do stuff inside, so. Here we are. So, what does it say? It says a lot of stuff here. Yeah, we don't, we don't bring much information here. We need to bring it out in the sunlight to see how it actually is. Yeah. Let me just take it up here so you can take a closer look. Yeah, it doesn't do justice for the because there is no sunlight. No, 
So it's, it's hard to judge how well it is uh, outside, but at least I can say that the, the build quality and the, the way that it mounts is it's surprisingly uh, stable to what uh, my expectation was. Uh, I don't know if it helped, I found out that it was uh, <laughs> originally designed to be a product, but uh, I, say, I, I could see myself using this because it, I think it's really annoying outside in the sun. I can't see anything on my phone and I have to turn up the, the brightness to full power and that drains the battery as well. So, um, yeah. Yeah, we can make uh, an update on this product later. Yeah, yeah. we can take it outside and, uh, and uh, provide an update. Uh, yeah, so. So when you're done flying, I guess. Shut it down. that and then I mean just I don't know Ooh. that's the easiest way to take it off it must be somewhere like that like that pull this in again like that so so that was basically uh it's that's like we can't talk about this for hours <laughs> so so we don't want to do that so this was uh, basically a, a live unboxing and um, let us know in the comment section uh, below, if we, even if we stop this live stream uh, then uh, ask questions in the comment section below uh, if there's something that we haven't covered with this. Uh, let us know what you think about this uh, format. Uh, it's the first time as I said we tried so, so it's interesting to hear your feedback if this is something we should continue with. We have uh, a lot of uh, stuff that we could look into live uh, that might make more sense than these uh, more uh, simple parts uh, that where we can interact with you guys uh, to see to hear what you mean and uh, what you think about it so so i guess uh, Moina, this concludes our i don't know do you have a price for the oh yeah i can just look up the lens hook so well. we can uh, tell the guys yeah it's more expensive than these uh, rubber feet. It's uh, right now it's actually discounted with 23% off for the next 27 days. So right now it's down to 22.2 US dollars. So yes, thank you very much. And see you next time. And see you next time.